Here I am recording this video for the third time today, but hopefully um, it'll actually work. So, uh, hello everybody, this is The Traditionalist, and welcome to Why Modern Art Sucks, Part 2. Now, so Part 1, we talked about early modern art, and we talked, uh, we left off with uh, the post-impressionists, but if you thought that art was bad, it is absolutely nothing compared to the horrible monstrosities you'll be seeing today. So prepare yourself psychologically for the worst of uh, humanity's art. So now, as I said, the early modern art was sort of good. However, that all changed when Expressionism began between around 1900 and 1910, which would continue until 1930 and completely revolutionized modern art. It was at that point that artists didn't even bother trying to make their art even slightly recognizable or beautiful or requiring any talent. And this was when art completely died. But also up to now, all the modern artists were French. But unfortunately, after that, this worthless garbage started spreading worldwide with disastrous atrocities by talentless losers such as Marc Chagall, Francis Bacon, Lucien Freud, and Willem de Kooning. So let's look at some of their magnificent masterpieces. So uh, we'll start off here with uh, Marc Chagall's uh, Apocalypse in Lilac Capriccio uh, and this honestly looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old. So first of all I guess this is the crucifixion even though there's a Nazi at the bottom for some reason with a ladder who knows why Jesus is naked for some reason, even though he wasn't actually naked when he was crucified. Next to his arm, you have a clock. The clock is actually on a flying chair, but wait a second, the flying chair is actually thrown by this woman, but wait a second, the woman is being held by this man who's probably raping her and reducting her. And, uh, I don't know. Then at the bottom, you have all this weird human thingies. Uh, they're not even colored. You know, this weird, ugly, uh, reddish background that looks like it was scribbled by a three-year-old. You have, yeah, naked Jesus, um, whose private parts are being covered, I guess, by this gray, ugly paint. This whole thing is super ugly, uh, meaningless, and it looks like an unfinished sketch by a five-year-old who was bored in math class. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So first of all, yeah, um, Apocalypse and Lila Capriccio, what ex how exactly is this an apocalypse? You can't even tell. Um, what is this even supposed to be representing? I don't get why Jesus is uh, being crucified on, on a tree, but okay. Um, yeah, there's no meaning to this art. It makes absolutely no sense. You can't tell what's going on. Uh, it isn't even finished. Half of the people aren't even colored in. It's super ugly. So yeah. Uh, th this is uh, yeah the, the new the new wave of uh, modern art expressionism. Um, however, wait till you see this second version of Triptych by Francis Bacon. Like, what in the world is this? You have these weird, ugly monster thingy blobs uh, on tables. I have no idea what in the world they are. Nobody can tell what is even being shown on this. And you see, this is how bad modern art has become to the point where you can't even tell what you're even looking at. Anyways, so you have in the background, it, it, obviously, it's very elaborate. You have just three red stripes, and uh, I guess the third one, well, the, well yeah, the, the third red stripe is actually top of a white stripe. Now, at least that reminds me of the Canadian flag, so I'll give that one out of ten, but this is complete garbage. Uh, yeah, you can't tell what this is supposed to be. Then, uh, Lucid Freud benefits supervisor sleeping this is this is first of all this is just disgusting to look at okay why do i want to see a human whale a uh, naked human whale by the way uh on a couch like why would i she's super ugly she's disgusting i would never want to look at this ugly monster ever okay much less would i want this creep this ugly beast hanging on my wall for me to look at every single day. So, she, I mean, instead of having boobs, she basically has elephants there. 
uh, she's super fat, um, her, her legs are ginormous, and it looks more like she, 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 I mean, she's obviously trying to attract the whales, like the blue whales like this, but yeah, no human is going to be attracted to this. Super fat, super ugly, also naked, so it's not even appropriate. And it's absolutely disgusting. So, and I don't get what even the meaning of this painting is. Now, at least, to be fair, this uh, artist uh, does have some talent. And what I mean is that, like, he obviously spent quite a lot of time drawing the couch and the floor. But maybe, instead of, you, know, you should use that talent to actually make art that's actually nice to look at instead of this ugly, disgusting feminist. Yes, that feminist, because the only good thing about this painting is that's an accurate representation of what a sleeping feminist looks like. Then we have this thing, Police Gazette by Willem de Kooning. Now, I mean, I'm sorry, but this is not art, okay? This is complete and utter trash, okay? This belongs to a sewer, this belongs to an incinerator, this belongs to... One of, one of those piles of uh, trash where all the sewage goes and all that stuff. Okay, this is complete junk. And, and I'm going to keep, keep saying this. This is complete and utter junk. It looks like you gave a one-year-old like 10 crayons and told him to just scribble. Okay, that's it. This is not art. It has absolutely no meaning. You can't even tell what this is supposed to be. It's super ugly. Um, it requires no talent. Literally just a guy with crayons just randomly like or maybe paint, who knows, just randomly scribbling on a canvas and this is called art. People, people, pay money to look at this. Why would anyone in the right mind pay money to look at this piece of junk? Okay, this should go to the trash can because this, because I'm telling you, a two-year-old could do better than this. It's, it's just amazing that this is actually considered art. Okay, now moving on. Uh, also during this period, Fauvism started in 1904. Now, if you thought an expressionist art sucked, you could, you know, you need to express yourself and be different. Wait until you see this art. It features useless babies such as Pete Mondrian, Henry Matisse, and Jean Prac. He made art that was so horrible and ugly that literally a toddler could make better art. Um, so, now let's look at some of their masterpieces. So here... You have the brilliant composition with red, blue, and yellow by Pete Mondrian. No, it's not brilliant. This sucks. This is literally, literally, a blue square, a red square, a yellow square, and just some white triangles. This is not art. Okay, how long did it take this guy? Probably like 10 minutes. This is so, this is so useless and stupid. I can't believe anyone actually pays money to even look at this. It's so ugly. It's complete, completely meaningless. And yeah, it's literally just three squares and a couple of rectangles. Like the fact that anyone would actually even be willing to pay even one cent to even look at this or buy this is beyond me. This is absolutely insane. Like, I can't believe that this is what's considered art. This is junk. Okay? Now, Le Bateau by Henry Matisse, which is almost as bad. So, here you literally have uh, two, two blue triangles and a couple of pink squiggles. Now, le bateau means the boat in French. But, I mean, if, you know, someone asked me what this is supposed to mean, I wouldn't be able to tell. Because, you see, that's the problem with modern art. You can't even tell what it is, okay? This is super crude, super primitive, okay? It, it, once again, it looks like, uh, you know, someone who's five made it. Um, yeah, I'm guessing those p uh, purple squiggles are supposed to be birds. But, you know, maybe if you actually tried to be, make a bird, it actually, you know, succeed. This the thing is just super ugly, worthless and meaningless. But yeah, that's that's basically modern art. And then now you have Georges Braque's Houses at Lestac. And this also sucks. Uh I mean the only thing that's actually recognizable in this painting is the tree. Uh then I guess the green stuff is probably the grass. You have this really primitive looking brown house. But yeah, once again it looks like it probably made it took this guy an hour to make this. Super primitive, super ugly. I mean, the fact that this this is what's considered art in the 20th century is just mind blowing. After all this progress, this is the best humans can make as art. This sucks. Okay. Uh, now, 
Fauvism finally ended in 1910. Also starting between 1904 and 1910, Cubism, the most famous modern art movement, began. Now it featured more trash by idiots such as Jean Metzinger, Juan Gris, Albert Gleises, uh, Marcel Duchamp, and most famously Pablo Picasso. Now, Pablo Picasso has always been way too overrated. His art would blend better in a garbage dump than an art museum and required almost no talent. However, it was actually Marcel Duchamp who made Cubism and all modern art stand up. It got so bad to the point where it didn't even put any effort whatsoever and literally took a freaking urinal and called it art despite not having made it or contributed anything to it in any way this was really the moment when there was no hope left for art as if the previous art wasn't horrendous enough literally got to a point in society where an unmodified urinal where people pee was considered art now let's look at some of the <clears throat> better cubist artists so here we have Jean Metzinger's Nu à la Cheminée. I mean, I guess you sort of look closely, you can see that there's a naked woman there, but you know, you can barely see it. Um, yeah, it looks just a little more like a bunch of lines and squiggles to me than you know, any actual artist. I mean, the thing is, you do need some talent to make this, but come on, use your time wisely. Why do you spend so much time making all those squiggles just to make this abstract, ugly thing? Then we have. Juan Gris's violin and playing cards on a table. Like, what in the world is this? Okay, you can't tell what this is. There's absolutely no meaning. Yeah, you can see the playing cards. The, the violin is just this squished. Half of it's, like, not even there. Uh, a lot of it's being covered by this huge green blob instrument thing. I don't even know what that is. I guess the bottom, you have a pink and blue piano thing and black sheets of music and oh, why why do people make this it's so ugly the fact is so ugh, whatever i'm not going to say anything more about this let's move on albert gleiser's brooklyn bridge so i've been to brooklyn bridge and yeah it doesn't look like this so here instead of having you know an actual bridge what you have is a black line and a black curve that's it that's the so-called bridge in this stupid work of trash but that's not it and you have the city in the background which is once again just a bunch of lines and squiggles and triangles which are all colored in how much time did it make like you need to make this a couple of hours probably maximum and the thing is super ugly you can't tell it what it is if someone asks you what this thing is you would not probably be saying a bridge okay much less the brooklyn bridge okay uh yeah you, you can't tell what it is. Super ugly, super meaningless. And yeah, uh, you know, I would never want to even look at this thing. And finally, the master of them all, Pablo Picasso, the epitome of modern art, who made this stupid work of art called Le Pigeon Petit Bois. Pigeon means pigeon in French. Now, once again, where's the pigeon? Who knows? But, you know, who cares? You know, if you can act, yeah, you can actually tell. Uh, you know what's being represented because you know we don't actually care about that now do we um instead we have a bunch of ugly brown and gray squiggles um all all being colored in uh it, it has absolutely no meaning okay it just looks like a random jumble of bimbly boo and the only thing that you can actually see recognize here is the word cafe and that's it Otherwise, it's just a bunch of random stupid shapes all smashed into each other, making this ugly, worthless junk. Now, um, cubism, just like all modern arts, died out extremely quickly. Who knows why? Disappearing between 1918 and 1925. In 1912, the appropriation began where artists were so lazy that they didn't just make meaningless and ugly art, but they even stopped bothering to come up with original ideas and literally just started appropriating other people's art. This began an entire artistic movement called appropriation, where artists would literally just reuse and slightly modify other artists' work and claim it as their own. So, and the thing is, uh, you know, that at least, you know, if you're stealing someone else's art, at least do something good, but instead you have like this junk, like One Nation Under CCTV by Banksy, uh, which is literally just a bunch of white letters, okay? I'm sorry to say this, but writing is not art. This is not art. This is literally just writing, okay? I mean, 
how much time does it take to make this? Once once again, very little time. This this sucks. Okay, this is this is not good at all. Although to be fair, Banksy does make quite a bit of good art. And then here, Mickey by Damien Hirst. Like, come on, if you're trying to draw Mickey Mouse, it's not even that hard. But the fact is, I couldn't even tell what it is because I thought when I first saw this, it's just seven black balls, one white ball, two red balls, and two yellow balls. Because that's basically what it is. You can't tell what this is. This is this is once again just some more junk. Um, yeah, there was absolutely no meaning. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, how how much time must have must it have taken for this man to draw such elaborate circles? <sighs> now. Its movement is the is the only one of the movements mentioned here, which is still going on now. In 1910, Der Blaue Reiter began, but this movement uh, only lasted until 1914. So wow, four years. So more abstract junk by idiots like Paul Klee and Franz Mark, who had no talent and did born in worthless art that anyone with a slight amount of talent could reproduce. For example, Twittering Machine by Paul Klee. Now this this literally just looks a bunch of stupid stick men with fish in their mouth, I guess. I mean, it's literally that, just stick man with these deformed, ugly heads standing on an electric wire or something, I guess. What even is this? The background is just this ugly blue, grayish, mixed junk. And yeah, it look, it's so bad. Like, it looks like something a three-year-old would make, okay? A bunch of stupid stick men. The fact is, if you're an adult and you're still making this kind of art, you suck. You're useless. Stop making art. This is junk. And then we have Franz Marx's Fate of the Animals. Now, to be fair, this is a lot better, but still, you can barely tell the meaning. I mean, you can't even see the animals unless you look pretty closely, but they're mainly all on the left. But it looks more just like a bunch of lines all just scattering uh, all over the painting and intersecting with each other and it's all just really confusing I mean the, the colors at least are, are well chosen, but still it's really ugly and Yeah, I mean you could have used your time better Okay Instead of just making all this ugly uh, Gray and brown stuff on the right, you know make something that's actually good um, Now <laughs> Uh, after this ended, suprematism emerged uh, with Kazimir Malevich making art so bad that literally anyone could re reproduce it in five minutes, okay? This, this is what's considered art. White on White by Kazimir Malevich. Okay, this is literally a white square on a white background. Like, how stupid are you to actually consider this art, okay? It, you can literally make this in one minute. Just draw four lines and that's it. That's all you need to do. This guy has absolutely no talent, used no time, no effort, nothing, and yet this is considered art. This, is, this sucks. Everyone, every single person can do this, and this is why every single person on earth could be a modern artist. And that's why modern art sucks, because if everyone can be a modern artist, then there's literally nothing special about modern art. It's all ugly, it's all useless, it's all bland. Uh, now... This movement died out after World War I, uh, ended in 1918. Thank God, but during the war, it saw the rise and fall of Vorticism, another horrible and useless art movement with uh, junk by Wyndham Lewis. Now, you might say, yeah, it's not junk, but I mean, okay, it's true. that Compared to the modern art in the rest, that all the other ones I've been showing you, it's not that bad, but still. The, the people just look so robotic, look so mechanic, I mean, if this guy had actually, you know, tried to smoothen out the people instead of all making them all like making them all out of straight lines, it would have actually been nice. Because this guy has potential, but of course, you know, he makes this really ugly work of art uh, called a battery shelled. Um, yeah, which is which is really ugly. Like, just make better art. It's not that hard. It really isn't. And finally, we end with this masterpiece of American modernism which developed and would continue throughout the war all the way until the beginning of World War II. 
and American modern art was usually ugly and hastily drawn sketches, are often finished, such as those by Georgia O'Keeffe, who made this junk, the flag, which is just a red flagpole and a bunch of squiggly red paint over unfinished blue paint. So it's not even finished, okay? You probably took like 10 minutes to make this. Super ugly. It has no meaning. Like, why? Okay, unfinished sketches are considered art. This is so bad. So bad. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share. If you disagree, then write so in the comments. But don't say, eh, you suck, because no matter how much my videos suck, they'll never be as bad as these paintings. But yeah, that's it. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Mike History, too. Bye.